Hello guys, good day to you. I'm Andrew from Yellowhead Games and today we're going to see a few tips and tricks to improve your workflow with Godot. Now this video is the second part of an old video and, and I think I may have something for you. First of all, I'm going to create a new project, it's just for YouTube and this is going actually to, you know, show everything, every step that I I do for my projects and first of all just create a new project <laughs> and let's start okay guys if you're working with 2d projects probably you hate this as well because each time you are going to reload or boot up your god engine it's going to start on the 3d environment even though I'm on the 2d one 2d environment if I reload it it's going to start again on the 3d project and that's kind of annoying I totally understand you and welcome to the club <laughs> now how, how to improve that how to remove that 3d environment you just go under editor and manage editor features now under here you just deselect this one you know and it's going to remove that now you can have basically other features here that you can remove and use or whatever you want now the fact is that you can actually make current you can import export this default uh, you know environment you're creating and that's pretty great actually because if you're moving to another pc you just bring your environment with you basically and that's great just give okay here and it's going to be fine each time you're going to reload it's going to be there no problems no more stress guys i i have to say this remember that you have this this feature here you have the ability to recall it whenever you want so remember that you need to go to manage editor features because somehow i forgot about this and i had some really hard times when i wanted to use 3d environment so just remember that you can recall it whenever you want it's there for you just go and re-enable it now another thing that i can suggest you is basically creating your own pack now what is this what do i mean with your own pack okay guys each time you start a new project basically there are a few things that you do in each of your projects basically you you import your logo you import a few files you import a few plugins now you can speed up by creating a pack you you create an asset library pack basically and you just import that and that's what i do actually i just go here under asset library and i import my one pack this is basically a special one that i'm using for myself but this pack actually has special nodes has scripts that i already created in in the past and i just want them to use to you know they're ready to use i don't have to record everything each time they're there for me so basically i just import it open i can select here under this tab to actually uh, not import some of those stuff but I tend to import everything just import that and that's it and I have here a few scripts I have my script pack I have my tools I have my add-ons I have my boot splash I mean I don't have to code each time my boot splash to to recreate it it's there it's for me like you can see it's it's working it's fine and it tends to you know show my my logo and everything and goes to a new screen when when it hands how can you create this now basically this is just a zip file you just create a zip file with all your files and all your scenes basically if you're working on something here and on your game you just open your file manager you just select the files you want and you create a new zip file it's easy like that and each time you want you just need to import this youtube file basically now another thing that i may suggest to you use plugins use plugins plugins are very important because they help you on your workflow so basically what you need to do to uh, to import plugins it works the same way you just go to your asset library you can find already done some you can find something that is already done here. You can search obviously under Godot uh, library and you can find whatever you want here. But actually I use mine so I import them like like that always in the same in the same way basically. Just importing plugins it doesn't mean that they're going to work. You need to enable them. The, so just go to under project settings, you go under plugins and here I have my common beautifier and I enable it. And another thing that I use now nowadays is my load and save input map uh, plugin that I just enable. You can download that, it's always in the description. Just go under my GitHub. Now, another thing that you may want to know is basically what's happening to your nodes in your scene and what Godot is actually doing with your nodes. And this is very important because basically you see what Godot is doing with your nodes. And here I'm adding some nodes. 
and I don't know where they are located, when they're being created, everything. So just go here under scene, just go under remote, and you'll see that I have my root scene that is basically above our game, and here's our node D. And you can see that there are a few nodes here. Here they are. Each time I add a new node, they are being created here in the scene 3. By selecting them, you can go actually and check them in under the expector, and you can change a few things just to verify that actually they're working in a proper way, um, just to verify, you know, something that you are thinking to, to make. And you can change basically the offset, you can change, I don't know, um, you can flip them, you can make all this stuff. They're just working this time, at the runtime, but if you want to make them permanently, you just need to go and call them, obviously. This is just a preview what, of what you're doing with your nodes, basically. But here in the scene 3, it's very important. You can check them and you can find out what's wrong with your nodes. Like you can see, uh, my window right now is on the top of everything. And like you can understand, that's pretty easy to do. But if you don't know, you just go under projects. And here under projects, basically, just go under windows. And you just check always on top, and that's going to make your window to stay on top of everything. Even though you click elsewhere, it's not going to lose focus, it's going to be there on top. Now, if you want to access to whatever node on Godot and create a new node in your scene by script, basically you don't have to save as a scene, you just want to do it by, by script. That's easy, that's easy, you can access to that in an easy way actually. How do you do that? It works like you were instantiating a, a scene, basically. You just grab var, a new node here, and it's going to be, for example, in this case, sprite, and I'm going to give this dot new. That's going to create a new entity, basically. And we have that instantiated here in new node. Now, now I'm going to give this a texture, and it's going to be just new node and dot set texture. And I'm going to load this thing and just grab and load that like that. I'm going to give this the famous icon one. And that's going to be great for the moment, but we just need to position it to my mouse position. And I'm going to just to set the, the position like that. Set the position, okay, like this. And get global mouse position. And last but not least, we're going to add this to the scene. So just add child new node like that and we're done basically and this script was running during this example like you can see i just click here and it creates that and it's working fine and this this scene doesn't exist it is just being created right now i mean it doesn't exist in no no place okay and that's great you can do this <laughs> now another thing that you may want here in the editor basically is just to delete the line and you probably go like this or you have to select it and that's just boring and annoying how can you do that just control x that's going to delete everything so basically just go control x and that's going to delete your line okay guys this was all hopefully you learned something and hopefully this is going to help you to improve your workflow you know i this is what i came up when i talked to my process of making games and you know speeding up everything and not losing time if you made it so far please check my slime and sliders it's out it's on android just go grab it and i need some feedback actually and people that rates it says that it's pretty good there I'm in from Yellowhead Games, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments down below telling me what are your tips and tricks that you may suggest to me and maybe I can include them to the next video. Turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my new videos and, and more important, keep devin' games!